Homeowners in the Tahoe area monitoring the fires remotely have been reaching out on their doorbell cameras and security cameras to see if their houses survived. And as Leslie Brinkley reports, they've even started conversations with firefighters and police and met their neighbors all virtually. Living in Berkeley, this journalist and mother of two started keeping an eye on their Kirkwood family cabin via their security camera there. So we started watching pretty regularly. On Tuesday, they saw firefighters on patrol stopping to eat at a neighbor's porch. I'm telling my husband, I hope one of them walk, walks by so that we could like talk to him. And uh, sure enough, after a while, you know, one of them walked over and kind of was circling our house. And so we pressed the button and we started yelling. And he, he came and we talked a little bit where we were like, thank you so much for everything you're doing. I see you all are sitting out if you need a place to lie down or rest. This is where the keys are. <laughs> she started posting on Twitter and providing updates, amassing followers and meeting neighbors for the first time online in the chaos. Someone said on Twitter, like, you know, your early, your posts are, you know, really helping with our anxiety about our home. So security cameras aren't providing protection in a fire, but they are providing connection, community service, if you will. This San Francisco man monitored his security camera as the fire got within a half a mile of his South Lake Tahoe home. He noticed a police car pull up, then drive away. And then he got a surprising text message from people who rented his house last summer. And, and said, hey, I just wanted to let you know um, that my son's a police officer for Southern California police um, uh, jurisdiction. And he's assigned to Lake Tahoe right now. And he, he was with us when, they, when we stayed at your home last year with the family. And, he just wanted to let you know that your home's safe and she sent a picture. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I would love to get to know the people I've gotten to know online. I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News.